You play to win the game. Hello? You play to win the game. You don't play to just play it. That's the great thing about sports. You play to win. And I don't care if you don't have any wins. You go play to win. When you start telling me it doesn't matter, then retire. Get out. Because it matters. What's up, good friends? Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. It is Saturday afternoon. It's crazy, man. It's crazy. You guys have seen me out at my fish pond, you know, the fish swimming at the top, eating and everything else and going crazy. And I was talking to my buddy, Jet D, um, about, about an hour or two ago, and he said, man, this is some strange weather that we're having. He said, man, he said there was sunny out. He said it got cloudy as can be. We got snow. And then 15 minutes later, the sun was back out. I was like, well, damn. And you know, about 30 minutes after I talked to him, the same thing happened here. It got cold. It snowed. We actually had like ice pellets that were you know, about the size of BBs. And for about 15 minutes, it was just like a whiteout. Then it stopped. And now it's just kind of cold. Weather and life and football teams change quickly. So, you know, I'm blessed to have so many of you great fans out there that are always posing different questions to me or updating me on this, that, and the other, you know, keeping me up to date because, quite frankly, there's so much stuff that goes on with the Dallas Cowboys. It's next to impossible for one person to keep up. You know, Mike Fisher has a group of like 74 people that are working for him to help make sure that he has all of the news on the Dallas Cowboys as well as the NFL. Well, here at Broke Ass Media, it's me and the help of you guys. So shout out to you. But what was funny to me yesterday was I had, um, I'm trying to remember who it was. It may have been Jacqueline Gnomes that said, oh boy, here we go. Colin Cowherd and I'm like, oh, Lord. Okay, so you're starting it off with Colin Cowherd. So let me throw a little salt over my shoulder here. Colin Cowherd is picking the Washington football team to win the division because they have Carson Wentz. And I said, okay, let the games begin because that means, that means, my friends, that the Dak versus Wentz scenario is back. It's cool to be dissing Dak as always. Now, I'm not sure what it is about Colin Cowherd, but he has truly always loved Carson Wentz. In fact, let, let's go to the, the clip in question here so that way we can actually look at what he's talking about. So I, I just want to go here. Let, let's listen to, to the Cowherd when he talks about the NFC. Young, to me, uh, I have them winning the division. In the NFC, uh, I'll throw it out. Listen, do we like anybody? Dallas is not the same team today. So even with their weapons last year, they disappointed you because of Mike McCarthy. Well, he didn't go anywhere. Um, Carson Wentz, I think, adds wins. Remember, Washington lost a lot of one-possession games, and they were really bad at quarterbacks. They'll be way better at quarterback. And uh, I think Dallas, Philly, and the Giants are non-playoff teams. Uh, I'll take the Rams, although I will say this. Um, they... Okay, all right. So his premise of Washington being, you know, like one possession losses, it, it's true that they were a lot of, but not to the Cowboys. Um, not to the Cowboys. The Cowboys feasted in their division. In fact, Dak Prescott and um, the Dallas Cowboys have been deadly in the division. They have literally just destroyed everybody else in there. They were 6-0. and And it wasn't even close. Um, I guess the, some of the closer ones, um, okay, you know, when, when Colin Cowherd says that, you know, it was, you know, uh, one possession games. We beat Washington the last time 56-14. Giants 21-6. to Now, it was a one-possession game, the first one, December 12th, the game we were at on the road where the Cowboys did bring the the heated benches. 27-20. Let me go through. Let me go through all of them. Let me go through. Let's see. 
Uh, Eagles, they won 51-26. Um, Giants, 21-6. Let's see. Ta, 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 ta. Let's go back to early in the season. Giants, 44-20. Uh, Eagles, 41-21. Um, let's see. Yeah. So the closest any team has been was actually Washington, 27-20. to Cowboys have blown the doors off of other teams in their division. Even if the Cowboys step back, I'm not sure that they've stepped back far enough that Washington overtakes them with Carson Wentz. Sorry, I just don't see that. I just don't see that. I know Tyler Heineke was a mess. But first of all, do you believe that Carson Wentz will be able to stay upright for a whole season? But be that as it may, like I said, Dak versus Wentz is back. But I, I want to actually go back. Let, let's just go back a little bit. I, I hope that the YouTube police don't actually get me on this. But let's just listen to some of this stuff. But it was as much about Carson Wentz against hmm. Dak Prescott, both in their second year, both really talented. Uh-huh. And um, both were missing a left tackle, and both were missing a top linebacker, and this both like were missing a running back, and both mm-hmm. have solid, not great coaches, and you saw clarity. Clarity. One guy is a transformative talent, and mm-hmm. one guy is just a franchise quarterback. Let me give you an example, and this is what happens all the time. We get fooled until something side by side. If you were driving in America, it could be Wyoming. It could be rural New York. You're on a quiet highway, and a Corvette pulls up next to you, and you look over at that Corvette, and you're like, man, look at those mags. Look at that car. That thing is really impressive. Then it drives off. And then an hour later, a Maserati pulls up next to you, and you're like, wow, look at that car. That's fast. And you're thinking, boy, those were two amazing sports cars. But if the Corvette and the Maserati pulled up simultaneously, one cost you 50 grand, one cost you close to 200. One is one of the fastest cars ever created. One's a sports car. Carson Wentz, he's a Maserati. And by the way, Dak is a Corvette. There's nothing wrong with Corvettes. Corvettes Mm -hmm. are fun and uh, uh, affordable. But side by side, come on now. It's not close. Let's be honest about this. Carson Wentz is a first-round talent, and Dak <laughs> got drafted in the fourth for a reason. Oh, I know, I know, I know. Russell I know, Wilson I know, I know. The third. I know, I know, I know. Tony Romo went undrafted. I know, I know, I know. Tom Brady, he went in the sixth. I know, I know, I know. Joe Montana went third. They are outliers, folks. You get what you pay for with quarterbacks. Is that the right? first two rounds, that's where most of the great ones come from. Elway, Marino, Bradshaw, Aikman, Big Ben, Favre, Peyton Manning, Breeze, Aaron Rodgers, <laughs> Steve Young, a number one supplemental, Stabler, Jim Kelly, Bob Greasy. By the way, all the young people we like, Goff and Wentz and, <laughs> and Andrew Luck were also first rounders. Oh, and so was on, Baker Mayfield. Guys up last night. Dak was missing a left tackle, so was Wentz. Dak missing the top line. Okay, so, you know, you, you get what you pay for. So what, what did uh, the Browns get for Baker Mayfield? Hmm. Here's what I think is, is kind of fun. I, this, this is, here's what I, wanted, I, I like to do, okay? I know Dak haters will be out here. They'll be saying, you're an idiot. He doesn't pass the eye test or stuff. You know what? Don't just come to me and say a guy sucks. Give me data. I like data. I like seeing something that you can show me, prove to me your theory. Because here's what I can prove. This is, this is actually amazing that down to the exact number of games. I didn't realize this. Dak Prescott and Carson Wentz. They both have had exactly 85 games. Isn't that amazing? Isn't that amazing? Dak Prescott and Carson Wentz both have the exact same number of games. Wow. Now, here's what's kind of cool. Dak Prescott with the Dallas Cowboys. They have nine more wins than Carson Wentz does. Hmm. Wow. Here's another interesting thing. Dak Prescott has a higher completion percent by 4% than Carson Wentz. Isn't that kind of crazy? 
Dak Prescott has 2,000 yards more passing than Carson Wentz. Dak Prescott has three more touchdown passes than Carson Wentz. Dak Prescott's passer rating for his career is eight and a half points higher than Carson Wentz's. Huh. Dak Prescott's the longest pass. Longer than Carson Wentz's by 14. Interceptions. Carson Wentz has seven more than Dak. Sacks. Carson Wentz sacked a whole lot more. Yards per completion. Dak is almost a full yard more than Carson Wentz. Rushing TDs. Dak Prescott, 25. Carson Wentz, 9. So as we go through here and we say that, oh, Carson Wentz is better than Dak, I know the Dak haters are going to say, yeah, I'll take Carson Wentz over him. I'm going to ask you, if you say you take Carson Wentz and you believe that he's transformative and you get what you pay for, I know, I know, I know, I know. I ask you, what is it that, what is your evidence to say Carson Wentz, Colin, is better than Dak Prescott? And th- this is, we're going to end on, on this note. Th- this is kind of funny to me as well. This is really funny. Uh, Finally, uh, America is coming to its senses. As I said yesterday, I was the first sportscaster that said four years ago, it ain't Richard Sherman. It's not the Legion of Doom. It's not Pete Carroll. It's not Marshawn Lynch. Russell Wilson is the game changer here. It took people a long time. And now in the last year, the rest of you, the Peter Kings, the the, the, the media traditional media people are like, yeah, that, that guy's like wildly underrated. Yeah, it's my life. It's my life. This is the burden of being brilliant. Oh. So the big lead pointed out something that I don't even Ooh. give Carson Wentz credit for because I don't really, I don't think interceptions are that. I mean, nobody wants them, but I want my quarterback <laughs> to let a rip. Uh, you know, Eli Manning throws picks. Um, Peyton Manning threw picks. Breeze has thrown picks. Matt Ryan throws picks. I, I'm not. Andrew Luck threw a bunch of picks. The bottom line: if you throw one a game in 29 attempts, I'm okay with it as long as you don't throw it, you know, deep in your own territory. It can be a punt on certain times. I don't think I don't think interceptions define the great quarterbacks. Namath, Bradshaw, Here Aikman, we go. they all throw them. Is history. But they came up with this stat. Carson Wentz doesn't throw picks. In 2019, Wentz became the first quarterback in league history. Mm-hmm. History. History. To throw 20 or more touchdowns and seven or fewer picks in three straight re- seasons. It had never been done, even by Aaron Rodgers. And I say that because Aaron Rodgers is considered the quarterback who doesn't throw picks and is one of the only quarterbacks in the league that throws fewer picks than Carson Wentz. So let's use Aaron Rodgers as an example if you think Carson Wentz is overrated. Last three years, I take out the rookie year for quarterbacks. Wentz has Aaron beat in record, touchdowns, completion percentage, and passer rate. Um, but and Rodgers has time, better star receiver, better star running back. They both Green have offensive-minded coaches, time. so that to me is a wash. Here's the reality of quarterbacks, and this is the way we do it. Mm-hmm. There's four boxes you got to check. And if you don't get to that last one, we kind of roll our eyes. The four boxes are the talent box. Mm-hmm. Wentz has clearly checked it. Just, just watch him play. Watch him at the end of last year. Working with nothing, got him to the playoffs. There's Working the stats nothing. box. Well, he's done that. 81 touchdowns, 21 picks last, you know, three years. Uh, the winning box. Can you get your team to the playoffs? Last year's another example. Yes. And then there's a the Super Bowl box, and he hasn't checked that one. But um, outside of Mahomes, tell me a guy playing in this league at quarterback four years or fewer <laughs> who's checked all four. There's one. Oh. There's one. It's Patrick Mahomes. The talent. Wow. The stats. The lead to the playoffs and the Super Bowl. That's it. No other quarterback last four years except Mahomes checks all of them. We like Lamar Jackson. Never won a playoff game. So, Neither is Carson Wentz. Uh, you know, he hasn't even made it through a Carson I like Deshaun game. Watson. Deshaun Watson with great receivers. Last year threw for 3,800 yards, 26 TDs. And I, and I like Watson. Wentz is better. I, I told you before, 
<laughs> you guys can argue four through 20. Oh, oh I love Three it. quarterbacks today in the NFL lead my franchise. Mahomes one, Wilson two, Wentz three. You can argue yes. over the rest. Okay. I think he's, uh, and, and again, just like Russell Wilson, you're going to come groveling back and to apologize to me. This is what's going to happen. This is what happened. You, you eventually apologized. You were so mean to me on Andrew Luck. And eventually everybody apologized, Russell Wilson. And you're just gonna, it's going to be about a year from now. And you're all going to apologize. You're going to feel terrible about it. You're not going to sleep at night. You're going to like, yeah, Uncle Colin was right again. It's a year from then, Colin. It's a year from then when you said all that, that we were going to come back and we were going to apologize for it. <laughs> No. No, 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 no. Carson Wentz is ass. Flat out. So this is where Colin is wrong. And Colin, keep up the good work, buddy. Keep it up because we love it. I don't often watch Eagle channels, but when I do, I watch Philly 500, so I can buy. What the fuck? Follow the Joker.